everybody, Golden Era Bookworm here. Today I'm really excited to share with you Your Physique February 1950 with Bill Barrett, this new Herculean figure on the cover. I mean, the uh, 40s are well known for the more classical and aesthetic physiques such as Steve Reeves. Uh, you've got Clarence Ross, who was still pretty massive, and others. But on, in the 50s, we start seeing all these concepts and principles of bodybuilding coming together and giving rise the outcome, like Bill Barrett, this Herculean physique. Look at the chest muscles, the, the arms are thick, the forearms, the deltoids, everything is there. And I know he's not ripped and I don't care. That's, that's the beauty about the Silver Era physique. These guys were just healthy and freaking strong. Beautiful. Um, let's have a look. My One of the favorite um, photos that I have that I, that I actually show you first is uh, from Letters to the Editor. My God, I mean, can you see Abe Goldberg? Let me um, just zoom that in and read it for you. Jesus, my God, look at the size of that chest. God damn, look at that. Here is the latest picture of the most famous chest in America. Abe Goldberg poses his massive chest in a display of Herculean grandeur. In this outstanding photo, note the deep thorax. Here is the secret of Abe's unbeatable chest. And I will go through this photo later on because it is, there is a full page spread on it. And it's, damn, I, I've never seen a ribcage development like that. Damn, Christ Almighty. Look at the size of that chest. It's incredible. I, I'm sorry I get so excited. Uh, well, actually, I shouldn't apologize for God's sake. Why should I apologize? It's freaking beautiful. It's enormous. It's fantastic. <laughs> it's just fantastic. You don't see this kind of enormous chest development nowadays, do you? Right. Um, here is a one of, uh, I find a very funny ad from um, Wader. He starts with these uh, more ridiculous claims like gained 45 pounds of solid muscle in only a few months. Well, I don't know about that. Maybe Arthur Jones can corroborate that. But... Um, yeah, I mean, these are pretty outlandish claims from um, from Joe Wader. He starts with his crazy ads. Letters to the editor shows another beautiful, beautiful shot. Look at these beautiful shots. I don't even know which one to choose. Let's choose this one. Um, it's not exactly a, a crucifix, but it almost is. Of Again, Abe Goldberg, note the fantastic abdominal development. This guy was thick. I mean, look at the thickness of those arms. Damn. Freaking beautiful, beautiful. And again, here we go, Abe Goldberg. He really was a Herculean figure. Might have to do a full, a full video on this man. Just uh, enjoy, enjoy. Thick pectorals, thick delts, thick arms. Beautiful ribcage development. Again, Abe Goldberg was really gracing the waiter mags because, well, he earned it, didn't he? Phenomenal Herculean physique. Beautiful. Uh, now, this is an awesome, awesome, awesome article, Sculptor Form, which I will um, go through in a separate video. But basically, it identifies the various Silver Era physiques, which I like already because it does go through many Silver Era physiques, such as John Grimmer, Clarence Ross, Abe Goldberg, etc., and classifies them according to Grecian uh, sculpture terms and principles. I really want to go through this. I think it's a really nice way of analyzing the different types and categorizing the physiques into these uh, sculpture terms um, towards Grecian art. I think it's a great topic. I'm going to cover it in a separate video. Um, another awesome... Sometimes you get extra little things, don't you, in these mags? That's what I like about them. You know, I've received, I've, I've gotten letters, Christmas cards, all sorts of things in these mags. It's really hilarious. Um, anyway, Marvin Edda, Mighty King of the Teenagers. Awesome, awesome. Another um, separate video will be featuring uh, Marvin Edda. I know I've been asked several times, and I will go through his incredible strength feats. And in, yeah, it's just his freaking muscular um, muscular development is just phenomenal for such a 18 year old. Unbelievable, unbelievable! Look at that front lat spread. Damn, damn, unbelievable, beautiful. So now this particular article really stumped me. Posing for muscular display. This man, Fred Mazzaro, I have to look him up, 
But um, if this guy didn't write a book on posing, for God's sake, I don't know why he didn't. Because this has to be one of the greatest posing articles I have ever read. And I will most definitely be sharing all of his secrets uh, on mastering posing. Um, especially for smaller physiques. Um, I, I mean, this article should be a book in itself. It's just phenomenal. I think it's a wonderful, wonderful um, article from uh, Fred Mazzara. He was very well known for his posing ability. You can see how graceful he is in his posing. I mean, look at these poses. They're not necessarily flexing, but they are suggestive of um, strength, power, vigor, right? I mean, yeah, beautiful. Of course, Alan Steffen was a big feature in uh, the Waiter Mags back then. And here we have an awesome article on back development. Again, we'll be featured in a separate video. Another great topic that I've been asked about actually and wish to cover is arm development in the silver era. So I will go through the different uh, muscular girths. Uh, another chart from David Willoughby here about what is naturally po uh, possible given your weight to height ratio wonderful topic again that could be its own video in itself but the development of arms back then for these natural bodybuilders is rather phenomenal uh, of course eric pedersen was well known for his softball shaped arm really peaky whereas um melvin wells just had a long beautiful and full bicep phenomenal phenomenal i mean these guys are natural and freaking just strong ass unbelievable uh, a History of American Weightlifting was another great article, but not as much as I enjoyed, actually. Um, I think it was the, yeah, part three, the evolution of bodybuilding. Awesome shot there of Jack LaLanne. Beautiful. Uh, getting it off my chest uh, was a complaint about um, the AAU from Joe Wader. Ugh. Jesus, oh my God! Look at that. This is the uh, this is the the photo I told you about. The full page spread of Abe Goldberg's chest. Damn, man. Damn. If you want to know what rib cage development looked like in the silver era, put this photo on your scanner, right? Or freaking, I don't know. Take a take a uh, screenshot or and. Yeah, then, then print it out and scan it into something even larger and put it on a, as a poster in your gym or in your room. I mean, God damn, look at the size of that chest. Damn, man. Damn. <laughs> it's incredible. It's not a chest. It's a barrel, for God's sake. It's incredible. Right. There was another great article on the evolution of heavy exercise. I think I may have passed it. I may have already passed it, but again, I will cover that in another video because I think it's great to look at the history. Oh yeah, that's the one. I already passed it simply because I was freaking <laughs> staring at Abe Goldberg's chest. So um, that's basically it. Um, I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, yeah, this look at your physique. I know I was uh, overly excited, but. I mean, can you blame me? I mean, the, the physiques just get better and better in the silver era. And I'm extremely passionate about bodybuilding, especially about natural bodybuilding and the possibilities. Yes, uh, with steroids, of course, the physiques got slightly larger and freakier and uh, ripped. But I like this natural Herculean look. It's what I strive for myself. And I think it's a very natural um, and, uh, and a healthy form of bodybuilding that I'm trying to bring back myself. Hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't to the Golden Era Bookworm for more crazy, passionate <laughs> magazine reviews. Look at uh, uh, Golden, Silver and Bronze Era Bodybuilders and Techniques. Um, let me know if you liked the video. Leave me your comments and thank you for watching. This is the Golden Era Bookworm. Bye for now.